what's going on today, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy Tunch, and it's YBE TV, and you already know. We're in session. It's going down. Look, um, today, before we dive into anything, I want to tell you guys an event alert. I am coming to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, July 26th through the 28th. We having a seminar. I'm definitely, uh, if you want to go to it, you definitely need to reach out and get the information to Alicia Harley. So you get the information, so you come out to the seminar. It's going to be me. It's going to be my man, Ghost, and we're going to have a lot of good information. Last but not least, you already know, go to www.ybetv.org slash shop, and you can pick up the business course, the business marketing course, the business credit course. We got all courses. We got the mentorship program. We got a lot of different paraphernalia and marketing materials for your business to structure your business, get you going, and to actually advertise. And new to the shop is... We got safety vests. We got safety vests with your logo on it we actually make logos too so you already know go to ybetv.org slash shop and if you don't see something on there that you want call the number 855 ybetv 49 today we're going to talk about investing in yourself a lot of people go out they start these businesses they think they own some they say i want to do this i want to do that i want to be a truck driver i want to have a fleet of trucks i want to do this but then they think that they're going to come in, make a whole bunch of money, and not have to pan out a whole bunch of money. Sorry for you, buddy. Nike pans out money. Apple pans out money. Microsoft pans out money. Uh, the NBA, the NFL, anybody with any type of brand is going to pan out money, and they got a ridiculous budget for advertising, for, uh, for PR, for all types of stuff. And you think that you're going to be able to start a business and dodge that Yes, yes, the verdict is in. You've absolutely lost your mind. That's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to go out and get a successful business going without paying out some money. So you're like, Tune, what would I put thousands of dollars in that's not, that has nothing to do with a truck? Well, you need a website. You need a, uh, you need a, a business email. You need a website. You need a marketing strategy. So how you gonna, what about business cards? What about flyers? What about the logo on the side of your truck? You need to set your business up. You need to do all these things, and you need a social media presence. You need somebody to be posting on your social media, which means that you're going to need somebody to manage your social media after you get to a point where you got trucks going and you want to bring people in. So how do you do that? Well, I know a friend that's, uh, that has a business called YBE TV that can help you out with some of that stuff, but he can't help you out with it all. Now, if you go, now, all jokes aside, if you go through me, I give you these services for pennies on the dollar. But if you go through a regular company in the U.S. of A., man, they're going to ask you for so much. You're going to be like, you might as well just take my firstborn baby. It would be much cheaper. I'm telling you, they are charging ridiculous amounts of money to set you up as a company. The cheapest website I'm seeing for people to set up is like 700 bucks. 700 And that's for mediocre. That's for like the scratch and sniff website where you get two pictures and 11 words. And it'd be like, buy me right now, please click this link. I'm losing money by the minute. And that's all you get for $785.93 with your first baby born, your first born child as a down payment. So, um, all right, I'm done. I'm done advertising, but I am going to say this. All jokes aside, listen, people. When you go out and you start these businesses, man, you're going to have to accept yourself aside a marketing budget. And the, one of the worst things that people do is when they start a business, they stuck in the now. They go in, they say, okay, I got my budget, and I'm going to focus on driving this truck and making money on this truck. And I, I, I'm the guy that's going to shake it up and say, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And they say, why, Tune? Why is that so ridiculous? I say, because. While you driving down that road and you're only thinking about making money with that truck, what about five years from now? Are you planning for five years from now? Are you planning for when you want five trucks? Why are you not doing small things to get yourself closer to that goal? They say, what do you mean by that? I say, get my marketing class and you will find out. They say, why would I need that? Only thing I'm doing is I'm just buying a truck Monday. I say, okay, after you buy that truck and you go out and you run that truck and now you're making money. And you're not thinking about the future. You're just worried about that truck. You're making money and you're saving money. Now you got $50,000 saved up. You say, now I can either blow half of this money at the strip club or I could do something smart with it. 
I could go buy me another truck. I just sent one for twenty five thousand dollars. I'm gonna drop you. I'm gonna drop twenty thousand dollars down on a truck. Get somebody to drive it and make me good money every week. And then guess what happens? You do that, and now you got a note every month. Now you're trying to find a driver. But when it comes to people like me, I'm gonna tell you this secret. Before I even had multiple trucks, I was out here pushing my business and pulling down applications. Hey. Apply for YBE transportation. Apply for YBE transportation. Apply for YBE transportation. You know why? I had applications on file before the ink dried on me changing the title over for my semi truck. So I can go back and grab those applications. These are not applications. I'm just grabbing paper and say, hey, Rufus Davidson, Michael Winslow, David Peterson, Gold umbrella thing for lights uh, i just seen that and i just named it and made it a name sorry i'm bad with names so the point is is that i got all these applications and i say you know what i call them i didn't have a truck at that time but now i do and i don't want it to sit because while it's sitting i'm not making money hello yeah david what's going on man um are you still interested in working uh with ybe transportation oh you are you're actually leaving the company you with well, I know it's been about four or five months since I um, since I got the application, but we actually got a truck open now. So, um, how soon do you think you can get down to orientation? You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you something that my great 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 grand uncle told me. Now you know I'm lying, cause I how how old would he be? Now okay, let's act like I'm telling the truth, and let's act like he really told me this stuff. What he told me, he said, grandson. I say what? He said, grandson. I say what? He said, grandson. You should stay ready. Not get ready. I say, well, get ready to die, grandpa. Because you're at least 743 years old, sir. Get ready. He said, I stay ready. I say, you got me by the back of the hairs. I couldn't say what I want to say because they would take my monetization. But you get the point, people. Don't get ready. Stay ready. Click the link, ybetv.org slash shop, and stay ready. This your boy, Tunchi, signing off. And if you don't want to end up in a box, you better think outside of it. YBE. Drug dealing and killing is going on in my town Yeah, don't take a killer to kill Or a driller to drill She just being yourself is the definition of real